Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In our previous video, we talked about Cloud Van and in that we discussed about and we showed in a demo as well that how you can create a Cloud Van, what are the different fields you have in Cloud Van. Then we talked about network policy, how you can create a new network policy and how you can update a network policy as well and what are the different fields you have in network policy. We also talked about attachments, what are those and how you can create it and how you can automate those to attach an attachment with a segment by using the attachment policy. If you have not watched that video, I will highly recommend you to go and watch that video first and then you can continue with this video. I am going to put the link of that video in the description as well. So what we are going to discuss in today's video is we will discuss about sharing and static routes. How you can share the segments with each other and how the static routes work. Before I go in detail, I want to show you the how my current setup is. So right now I have Cloudvan with two segments. One is development, one is shared segment, shared service segment. And this shared service segment, we have isolation is true. And which means that any attachment to the shared service cannot talk to each other. Like we discussed in our previous video as well. And with the shared service, I have two attachment, one in AP Southeast region and another one in US East one region. With the development segment, I have only one attachment, which is in AP South East one region. So as we discussed in our last video as well, that when we create segments by default, these segments are isolated. That means there is no path or attachment in this, uh, in one segment cannot talk to the attachment in another uh, segment. So to prove that, let's go to the route table and see that how our route table looks like with this setup right now. So I am on my route tables and routes and if I go to my development segment and I see AP Southeast one, I will see that I have only one route that anything going to my AP Southeast one VPC attachment will go to my uh, attachment uh, the destination and in my us east one i have a route that any traffic for this particular cider will go to my ap southeast one from there it will go to attachment but if i go to shared services you won't see any route because that shared service itself is isolated and segments by default are isolated with each other so that's why there is no route between these two similarly for the us east one so now what if my development segment uh, attachment or VPC resources need to talk to my uh, shared service resources. So suppose EC2 instance in this uh, AP Southeast one need to talk to this particular EC2 instance. So how we can do that? So for that we can leverage our shared sharing in our policy version. So what we will do that we will edit this policy and we'll go to segment actions. And we'll, what we are going to do, we are going to use the sharing. So we'll click on create and what we will say that I want to, sh for this segment, I want to allow development segment. So that means that development segment can talk to my shared service segments. So that's the route I'm creating between these two. So I'm sharing my shared service segment with my development segment and we'll click on create sharing and we'll click on create policy. So it, like I mentioned last video, it will take a little bit of time to uh, generate the policy and then to execute it. So I will pause the video and I will come back once this execution is succeed and then I'll show you how our route table looks like. Okay, so our execution has succeeded. Now let's go to our route table and see what routes we have. So first let's see for the development segment for AP Southeast one. And when we search the route, we got three routes. So earlier we had only one route for my local VPC. It's going to my VPC attachment, which were attached to my development segment. But now I got two more routes, one for my AP South one, uh, Southeast one VPC for the shared service. And let me show you the diagram again. So 10.2.0.0 16 is attached with the shared service. Now we have a route that any traffic for this particular CIDR will go to the VPC attachment of the shared service. And for the another at VPC attachment, because it's in a different region, 
it's sending that traffic to development us east one so it's sending to the different region and from there it will send you to a vpc attachment so if we go to us east one so earlier we had only this particular route that any traffic for my uh, this particular side of range send it to ap south east one region but now we got two more route one for that vpc attachment for shared service in ap southeast one that send it to southeast one route table and for the 172.31 this but this side of range it's sending traffic to my vpc attachment which is in us east one region so that is for the development segment uh, that now we have that this EC2 instance can send traffic to uh, this EC2 instance or this resources in this VPC and as well as to other VPC. Now, what about shared service segment? So let's see what route we got there. So if I go to shared service and AP Southeast one, we got a route that any traffic for 10.0.0.0/16 go to the VPC attachment. So that means that this any uh, VPC or VPC attachment in this particular region can send traffic to this uh, VPC and if we go to US East 1 similarly that any traffic for the 10.0.0.0/16 will send it to shared service AP Southeast 1 region so that tells me that these two can also send traffic back to this particular VPC attachment but you might have noticed that because there was isolation was true for this shared service segment there is no route between these two uh, vpc attachments so now what if we have a use case where resources in this vpc need to talk to resources in this vpc they both are vpc attachment in the same uh, segment but because of the isolation there is no route between these two so what we can do to create a route between these two VPC, we can create a static route. Either we can turn off the isolation, but that will allow all other VPC attachments to talk to each other, which we don't want. And we just want to have only these two VPC talk to each other, so we can leverage our static routes. So to do that, we go to our policy version, we'll click on edit, and we'll define our static routes here. So what we'll do, we'll create a route in my shared service and we'll say that 10.2.0.0 10 slash 16 will go to my VPC attachment in my US East 1. Let me just make sure that it was in US East 1. So, sorry, it was in South East 1. So it will go to South East 1. So it will go to this particular uh, VPC attachment create route and similarly we can have a route for 172.31.0.0 16 and we'll say that this traffic will go to my us east one so it will go to my us east one attachment we'll create route we'll create policy and again it will take some time so i'll pause the video and we'll come back once the execution is succeeded and then we'll sh uh, see our route table. Okay, folks, our policy has ex uh, executed and is succeeded. So now let's go to our route table and see how route looks like. So if I go to my shared service segment and if I go to my edge location of AP Southeast one, we'll see three different routes. One we already had for my development segment uh, side of block. So that's there but we got the another one the static one we added we said that anything for my uh, 10.2.0.0 which is the vpc attachment in ap southeast one will go to that vpc attachment and we got another propagated so let me explain you why we got the propagated before that i just want to show you another static route we added in us east one so in us east one because we had a vpc attachment with the side of this so any traffic for that VPC attachment will go to this particular attachment which we mentioned and we again got a uh, propagated route as well. So think about the basic concept of routing. Think that you have one router in US East 1 and another router in AP Southeast 1 and because of the BGP 
the way the routers work that if I one router learns a particular route for any destination it announces that route to the different router as well which is connected to each other so the moment we added a static route to this uh, region router it announced that path to the another router as well so that's why you see that the static route which is added here in US East 1 is a propagated route in my another region it's saying that hey so the router in US East 1 said hey I know how to reach to this particular side of range and it tells the another region router if you get any traffic for this particular side of range send it to me and I'll pass it similarly for this particular static route it announced to the another router saying that hey any traffic for this particular side of range if you have send it to me and that's why you see the propagated route in us east one and it's saying that for 10.2 send it to ap southeast one region so folks that's how the routing work in cloud van is basic concept of routing the how the router work uh, applies here as well uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video you learned how the sharing work between the segments and how you can add the static routes and those static routes how they get propagated to another regions as well if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel i will be posting more uh, aws related videos in future thank you so much and thanks for watching bye